Hello, it's Sarah, and I am here to share my 10 gallon tank today. I redid it. This is the tank that Blue was in, and he's been in since I got him. I pulled everything out of there, and because I was, I just started using it as a like holding tank for whatever, and it was, got real messy, so I put it back together. I've got a piece of driftwood in there. Uh, a piece of dragonstone that I glued that like spider wood looking tree thing to. Actually, I didn't glue it. I wired it onto there. And then I just put random bits of plants that a lot of these here are, I think, java fern that I got from other java fern that had babies. Like this bigger piece up here has a baby hook to it. Anywho, I love how it turned out. I'm starting to get really kind of into the aquascaping they call it um, it's ready for fish it's all uh, seeded which means it's cycled I'm gonna do a um, pH not pH but a nitrogen a nitrite whatever they call it the cycle test I'm gonna test the water my to see what my parameters are and then I think I'm gonna get some guppies I've been really liking guppies they're, they're really beautiful and they're hardy. They're, they're live bears. I have a couple in my six and a half gallon. I'm not sure. I might just take my time. I don't want to rush, but um, there are some botanicals in here. So these little things here, I think um, shrimp like. So maybe I'll get like a couple of ghost shrimp, that little um, like bark. So it's kind of like, and then there's that leaf. That's called an almond leaf in the back, that big brown thing that's kind of just sitting there. Um, they add tannins to the water, which it's kind of like making tea almost. It, it can turn the water a little brownish. Um, but it also puts into the water, um, I think, like natural kind of, I don't know, like, like, when we drink a cup of tea, it can be it can have healthful benefits, and I think that's what it's supposed to do for fish. So I'm happy. This is so I want to show you where blue is, but this is the 10 gallon. It's the same substrate. Um, just gonna move up now because I'm on the floor. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like it. I just used the hang on back filter. I don't have a bubble maker in there, um, and it's just. I actually went to Hobby Lobby and I got some of the river rocks that they sell there. So I'm going to just turn this so I can see. There's like a bigger version of river rocks in there, that black one. There's some there in the back kind of holding that plant down. But then I got this little bag too and I just sprinkled them in there. It, it really looks cool. And as I pick up, I'll show you a little closer because the the see that big piece of driftwood it kind of goes to the back and then anyway I'm ha I'm proud of it it's like a craft you guys and anyway I put dare in there because I like in my program I'm trying to take risks and try new behaviors so I like that word dare um, anywho so let me show you where blue is I'm gonna try not to make you sick and just move I'm in the Zen then so here is where he is. He, I think, I'm going to zoom in. I think he has something called um, something bladder. Oh dear, now my words aren't coming to me. Swim bladder it's called. So early on, when I first got blue, he used to swim down to the bottom of the tank. But he kind of stopped, and I'm just going to move closer, and so I can kind of see what we're... Um, he stopped doing that, and all he does now is stay at the top of the tank. So I am fasting him. He has, he did, I didn't feed him yesterday, and I'm not going to feed him today. Today is Saturday, and I'm not going to feed him tomorrow. And then I'm going to try something called... Um, what is it? It's kind of like salad would be for us, or a laxative. Uh, hold on. I think, I think I threw them out, but it was like, I think it's called Dahlia or something, or Daphnia. It's called Daphnia. And then other YouTubers have used a pea, just a pea, um, like a pea pod pea. You take the pea, you boil it, or just cook it 
and then you take it out of the co um, its covering and you feed it to the to the fish and hopefully it acts like a laxative and he because I think he's constipated and what happens is his tummy will push on the swim bladder it's a literal thing inside a fish it's like a balloon that gives them buoyancy and they can adjust it so when they're swimming down or up you know it it's kind of like their equilibrium for humans right so I'm definitely an overfeeder. I actually overfed two fish to death, and I'm not proud, but I did because I am learning by doing, and I don't know, it's just, it's terrible, but they're little piggies, and they keep eating no matter what, and I have to just have self-control, and <laughs> anyway, so in this tank, I have the similar, this substrate is the dirt. So I use this, the Fluval Stratum. It's like a, it's for um, live plants. And I have a few live plants in there. These little ones are new. I haven't tried them before. I think it's a form of Bacopa, but I'm not sure. I don't think it is called Bacopa. It's something else. It was at PetSmart, so I tried it. That, I think, is, I don't think it's an Anubius. It's some other, it might be an Anubius. Yeah, I think it is. And it's kind of just wedged between two rocks one says inspire and then it says serenity there let me pull a little forward and what else does it say believe but blue is just floating like right over there let me see if he'll come forward come on blue come over here he's so he just doesn't do anything and I've been thinking like well maybe he's just lazy or whatever but then I started to look into it and there is such a thing as swim bladder and it does happen to betas a lot they and they can get over it so hopefully this little three-day fast because I haven't ever fasted him I've fed him every single day of his life so I'm hoping that will do the trick because it makes sense it makes perfect sense um, and this just has a little bubble filter in there that that was in the 10 gallon so I just moved that over because now it's seeded so the tank is um, and I also used that dragon stone from the other tank so it has some of the good bacteria in it there he goes good job buddy you can swim so I'm hoping he'll start to like swim down within the next day or so like be able to see how he just stays at the top and I didn't realize that it was because I was overfeeding them, so I feel so bad. Um, I have some floating plants in here. Um, I think it's called Salvinia and Red Root Floater. There's a heater, so that's why I have that little thermostat. It's about 80 degrees. He likes it warm. And again, I have the botanicals, which is the almond leaf, and then these little things are considered botanicals too, like. Um, I just bought a package of that at this cool fish store that I like. So that's it. He has his little floating log because they do like to go in there. Here he comes. Yay, Blue. I mean, he seems healthy in all other ways, but it's just that he doesn't swim. <laughs> he can't swim down. So I'm really hoping that, um, see? Oh, yay. Maybe see how he kind of, and plus his his fins are so heavy, I'm sure. It's like, Matthew says it's like him towing around a wet blanket all the time, so I don't know. But he used to swim when I first got him. I have video of him on my phone swimming just fine. So I am going to cross my fingers and hope for the best for Blue because he's lasted me all this time. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. All right. So that's it. I just want to share. I did this over the last couple days I got another tank and that's it I have four tanks now and that's plenty so um, I'm, I'm hoping to give you an update when blues swimming around and we'll see if this whole thing works if I give him the Daphnia on Monday or a green pea and and see if he goes potty and then there's also I can also do an Epsom salt bath I can put him in a little other container with some Epsom salts and that's supposed to, again, relax him or have a laxative effect. But he's, he's looking good. Blue, maybe you're going to be able to go down soon. But he doesn't go down at all. All right. 
that's it you guys thanks for watching